Because we're on, we always want to be on the same page. And, you know, Mo Crum, that's my guy. He's, <clears throat> excuse me, like, whenever I have a question, I can go to him and he's right back. We text each other here and there. We hang out on weekends. Like, me and Mo get along real well. And his knowledge, his knowledge of the game or his ability that makes it um, him so helpful? Is it everything in the whole package? It's everything. He, he's a package deal. You know, he's, he has the ability. You know, he had a few nagging injuries last season and he played through them and he still played well, real well, actually. And then, you know, he's his, his knowledge of the game, you know, he'll look at you in the middle of a play when he's figuring out his assignment and tell you what you need to do if you're confused. And so that helps a lot on the field. Done off season, what kind of improvements can you tell me in terms of like your increases in weights and stuff like that? I mean, what, what have you managed to bump up this off season? Rob picks up 10 pounds. I'm, I'm about a steady 242. Sometimes I hit 245, mm -hmm. but I'm a steady 242. You know, I've lost some, I lost some body fat. You know, my measurables have gotten better. <coughs> Excuse me. So, you know, this off season has been a big off season for me. But like what? Anything that was a really big jump in terms of weights or times of measurables or anything like that? You know, my just so most of my most of my uh, like bench press and squats and that stuff went up during the summer. Yes, or during this this winter. Yes. I, I know you're not the type to say <coughs> I've arrived, but yet when when your name is at the top of the depth chart going into the spring. And now that you have a year under your belt, do you feel like you've become one of the leaders of the future, the present and the future? I always wanted to, excuse me, I'm sorry. Okay. I always wanted to think of myself as, as a leader. And so, you know, last year I couldn't really step into a leadership role mm -hmm. because, you know, I didn't start cool right away and then I was a freshman. But now coming in, you know, seeing my name up there on the front, like I was, I was running with the ones right off the bat, you know, being out there with guys like Mo Crum and David Bruton, who really lead by, by example and by what they got to say, you know, I just follow them and I and I do what they do and take after them, and so I can be a leader myself. Your, your personality seems like you know you're just dying to be in a position oh, where yeah. you're one of, you're one of the, the leaders of the team. Oh yeah, like you know, I'm always around some of the other guys who maybe like the new walk-ons. I'm always asking them if they need any questions, if they're getting the mental reps, or then and then the, the, we have uh, Stephen Byler was walking around here today. I'm asking him, you know, did he see everything? Is he getting everything? Is he liking what he sees? You know, even some of the older guys who maybe not didn't play as much last year, uh, some sophomores and some juniors, you know, I'm always around them, you know, trying to make sure, you know, everyone's head is in the right spot. You don't feel like a freshman anymore, or do you still? I, feel, I don't feel like a freshman. I told Mo C the other day that I feel like a vet, but he said I got a long way to go to a vet. <laughs> he put you in your place, <laughs> Yeah, he said I got a long way to go to a vet.